So I was gonna come out here and try to get my fly on with the DJI FPV drone, but President's in town, another mother effing TFR. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Big Ball Vlogs. I do reviews, news, everyday vlogging, and every once in a while, I'll do a tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about a new product I picked up off of Banga.com. Um, I guess these are called the Smart RC uh, DJI FPV frame stiffeners. Um, if you remember, like when I first got the FPV drone, I actually bought the DJI OEM frame stiffeners. And I have, I don't even think I've used these one time. And the reason I didn't use them is because I didn't know if I wanted to be, keep them on because I had, I had a, you know, not, not a great selection of bags. And, you know, having something like this would probably limit the type of bags you can put it into. So I never really put them on. I never really, to be honest with you, I never really even fly the drone. Um, I recently started flying it more because I've been dialing in um, some of the parameters to get it to fly more like a regular FPV drone. But I was, you know, interested in what these were. There's not many um, accessories or options for the DJI FPV drone besides, you know, different types of GoPro mounts and camera mounts. And this may be a different option or accessory that might interest you. So I thought I would pick it up from banggood.com. I think I paid like, I don't know, like $16, $17. They sell them for like $20, $27 on Amazon right now. So it took me a week to get it from Banggood. I know a lot of people are like, hey, Banggood sucks and I can't get my stuff. But every time I order something, I get it about a week without doing kind of any kind of expedited shipping. And that's from China. Um, so you might want to pick these up for like $17. But we'll take a look at them and see what they're about um, to help you make a decision on whether or not you want to pick them up or not. So first off, let's take a look at the original DJI FPV frame stiffeners. They were, um, I don't know, like 20 bucks from DJI. Pretty stiff, pretty rigid. Um, the thing about these was you have to like slide them over the ends of the, of the drone's feet and then use this little clamping mechanism here with a screw to lock it down. The difference about these is that they clamp on versus have to be screwed on. So I'm going to get them on the box and show you what you're working with. Um, and they also have a little feature that I'll get into in a second once I start getting them unboxed. So let's get them out of the box, take a look. In the box, you're going to get um, the, the frame stiffeners themselves. Here's one of them. And like I told you, they are, they are uh, clamp on. So there's a little clamp on the end right here that opens up, which allows you to just clamp this around the arm and not have to unbolt it. There's no bolt or no bolting mechanism to kind of hold those on. So that may be something that we have to consider or talk about because if they're only clamp on, what's the potential or possibility for these things to kind of like uncome unclamped, maybe in flight if you don't clamp them hard enough, or maybe even if a crash happens to kind of come off and fly into your blades and cause more damage than it would probably actually have done without them if you hit the, what do you call it, the, uh, the recovery button or the, or the pause button to get you out of those uh, tricky situations with um, manual flight. You also get this little accessory pack, which I have kind of tucked away in my pocket and half the stuff fell out of it, so let me, let me find it again. You get this accessory packet, and in that accessory packet, you get two of these quarter 20 mounts. Let me see if I can get that to focus for you. You get two of these little quarter 20 mounts, and then inside this thing, you get... Um, which I haven't been able to figure out what they're for because you know I just kind of just got this out of the mail, opened it up and brought it out here and shot a video. I ain't got time to be playing around with production these days. You get four of these little rubber feet looking things. I don't know what they're for. These little rubber standoff looking clear feet. And then you get this little 3M black tape. And I'm only assuming that the 3M black tape is to put some kind of um, some kind of tackiness on the inside of these because again, they clamp on and there's the potential for them to slide around on the drone's arms. Um, how the drone is set up where the arms are kind of spread apart. I don't know how that could happen, but I'm only assuming that's what it's for because there's four different little angularly cut. They're almost cut in the same angle as this angularly cut little 3M adhesive um, sticky tapes there. So I'm assuming that's what they're for. Now, the, the quarter 20 accessory, the quarter 20 accessory is used for attaching any type of quarter 20. Oh, sorry. There's something else in here. I didn't realize it. There's this little, I guess, instruction manual. I guess that shows you how to mount them. There's a left, right, you know, telling you how to put them on. It doesn't say anything about the little stickies. It does tell you that they have, it comes with a little quarter 20 mount. So I'm going to put that down. And um, the quarter, back to us in the quarter 20 mount is actually for this little quarter 20 screw one right here. And the reason that they have that is because they're saying that you could do stuff like this. Let me turn that the right side up. This has two LED floodlights on it, like camera floodlights. Um, and I'm not sure how you would even launch this from the ground or anything, hang it from it like this. But if you can think about it, 
there's a there's a there's millions of things you can probably mount to a quarter 20 mile it might not be two big floodlights like this maybe you're looking for a different way to mount a gopro maybe you're looking for a different way to mount two um insta 360 goes one front one rear and you want to hang them from the bottom of these this has the ability to do that and pretty much any gopro or any gopro accessory will probably attach to a quarter 20 mount you know left right is probably going to cause an imbalance if you don't have one on each side or some kind of you know un unstable condition if you don't have one on each side but like this like i said in this situation if you want to get some smaller ones i know these are kind of big but maybe some smaller indicator lights they don't even have to be these big old floodlights maybe you want to get some smaller flashing indicator lights if you plan on flying outdoors this will give you the ability to do it so with that said let's let's put one on and see if it actually if it actually holds on to this thing so we got a left we got a right um if i'm not mistaken the way that it says this is the left arm this is the right arm so i'm gonna look for the left one which i thought these are marked i thought i saw an l and the r on them there's an l and the r on them in the instructions so i'm just going to eyeball this thing right now i know they mount like this that is not the way that they go on because of the angularity or the airfoil on it so that's not the right one so i'm gonna go with this one quarter 20 mount down that's the one that goes on this side so this is the right side put this one in my pocket i'm losing light here so i'm trying to move real fast we're going to unsnap it and it looks like it snaps down so as you, as you see, I kind of clamp, unclamped that and it came down. And the other one snaps up. So you got one that comes down and one that goes up. So I'm going to put the up on first and then try to get the bottom one on. It did recommend removing the props. Now I see why. Because <laughs> you don't remove the props. You think it doesn't look like you're going to get these things on there. Wow. Crazy. So I'm going to try to do it, you know, the, the, the crazy way of trying to do it without removing the props by getting them a little bit closer in. I'm getting this a little bit closer into the inside. Put that on that way. Let's see if I can get this all the way down here. No, <laughs> you're not getting it. Hold on. Maybe, maybe can I get it past the motor? There you go. You got to force it, but you get it past the motor. So once I got it past the motor, I'm going to try to snap that down and see if it snaps down easily. See how tight it gets. It's a good little bit of pressure you got to put on to get this thing to snap down. Again, these are mass-produced Chinese products, so the fit and finish may not be the greatest. Um, got that one clipped on. I don't think it's coming off by the amount of force that I had to put on there. The back one, did it lock in? It did not lock in. Oh, actually, it kind of did lock in. And it does have, I guess, a little cutout in the back because the back LED is sitting inside. If I can actually, can I see that? I'm looking at the wrong direction. The back LED is sort of sitting inside, a little groove there to keep any damage from the back LED. So let me see if I can get that to clamp in. It clamped in. A um, little bit of play, nothing crazy. Like if I take it, like I can feel it moving around. Um, I wouldn't say that. The other one probably wouldn't move either if I play with it as hard as I'm pushing on this one. But as you can see, there's a little bit of play right here on the back when I'm sliding around. And like I said, that might be those little rubber pads maybe to keep that play from happening, to give it a little bit more friction. Um, it also may be to keep the clamps from damaging the, the arm on your drone. But it's on there. And let me just get the other one on. All this stuff in my pockets now. All right, so I'm going to try the same thing. 20 down. I'm going to go past the motors, open them up. Sorry about the train. I think I went backwards. For, I went with the back one first. Got that on. Split it in and then flex that. Boom. Do not have to remove the props. You just got to twist it a little bit so that there is a, an angle in it when you apply it. One side in, one side out, and it seems to go straight on. Um, get the other one on. A little clip here. Yeah, it takes a little bit of force to get it on there. Do I trust it, though? I mean, hmm, I don't know. Like, that back one, it's on there, but, it, you know, it's, it's like one of those things where there's no, other than being held on with a little bit of pressure from the from the clamp coming down on it, there's nothing, there's no lock that keeps it from unlocking itself. So, boom, comes open. Now, who knows if something hits that, a tree branch or whatever. And then when I pressed it down, it locked back down without me having, having to squeeze on anymore. So maybe that kind of stretched a little bit once I got it on there. But they're on. And that's what they look like on the on the craft. Like I said, I, I don't want to even get into putting these on. I mean, you might, to be honest with you, it looks like now you could probably even double these up. <laughs> you could put this on. Can you put it on? Let me see. That's the wrong side. Let's try on the side. You might even be able to double this up. Now you got dual. Oh, yeah. It actually does fit. Let me get the other one on. I don't want to break my... Like, I hate, that's one thing about putting these on. I hated putting these on because there's a, a hard press that you got to push these on to get these to snap in. And I just don't like the, 
across LED. Yes, you could put these on at the same time. One on the inside, one on the outside. And if you're worried about breaking your arms now, now you got dual uh, rigidness to keep you from breaking your arms. I might put the other one on too, just, just because, I don't know. I'm out here doing the video. Let's get the other one on. This goes on this way. And like I said, the only thing about the DJI version was that you got to put that little clamp that goes across the top and clamp it down. To be honest with you, I don't think you have to because there is so much pressure on this when you put these on. Like this doesn't go on easily. Like you just saw me fighting with it before. You got to like get it to go over the LED and force it on there. So there you go. Two sets. Let me get the snap. Let me get the, uh, <laughs> let me get the thumbnail. All right. So, I mean, like I said, quick video just to show you a new accessory that I got. And probably even if you got the old ones, probably even a way to kind of like double up on your um, FPV drone security. Weight substantially. Um, I think they were about the same weight when I put them on the scale. The first uh, set weighed, uh, the DJI set weighed about 33 grams for both of them together. Um, and the new version was only 32 grams, 31 grams on the same scale. And that is, you know, even including this little metal um, quarter 20 screw there. So... If you took that quarter twenty screw out, it's probably gonna be substantially lighter. And as you can see, it's a little bit less plastic. It's like smaller. Um, rigidity, rigidity, both feel about the same. I didn't feel any difference in the flex on them. So if you're worried about whether or not one is more flexible than the other, like I said, the only thing that I'm kind of worried about with the newer version is the fact that these are all clamped on and there is no securing mechanism or screw or anything that goes through it to make sure that it doesn't come unpopped. When these comes unpopped and hit that blade, you might be in trouble. So that's it. It's getting dark. You probably saw the sun go down behind me as it was, you know, as I was doing all this talking. And for 11 minutes. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for mm. thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. I'll talk to you later. Peace.